What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another video tutorial and this is on how to set up and install Kodi. Now what is Kodi you may ask? Well it is basically Netflix on drugs, that's the only way I can put it. It's just insane. Kodi is open source. It's basically available on every platform. It's free and there are thousands and thousands of add-ons. Now you're probably confused already. If you don't know what Kodi is, Kodi is actually a newer version of XBMC. It used to be called XBMC. It changed a lot and it is just a really great. It's like I said, it's available on most platforms. Android, iOS, Linux, Windows, even Raspberry Pis. It is available on so many devices and I do highly recommend using this. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to download and set it up. Now, you're probably thinking, well, it's pretty easy to, you know, install and stuff like that. But I'm also going to be showing you how to use it for TV shows, movies, live television, sports, everything like that. There is an all-in-one add-on that is very, very useful indeed. I install this on basically every device in my house. It's just great and I use it on my TV in my bedroom. I have an Intel compute stick and I run Kodi on that. And I also have a Raspberry Pi and it works flawlessly on that as well. So I thought I'd show you guys the best sort of way to watch TV shows, live television and stuff like that. And of course you can go out there and download all the different add-ons of your choice. But I like using this all-in-one installer that basically installs a very nice pack full of add-ons and, you know, some skins and wallpapers and it just changes it up to be a really nice media center as well. So you can actually use it as a media center and stream sort of your own sort of footage, photos and stuff like that. But I'll show you later on in the video. So let's get right into it. So obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Kodi.tv. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go over there and you'll see this page. Now obviously this is their homepage and you can see that they're updating it really frequently. And I have to say that that's a really good that they're, you know, they're developing lots of different versions. We're currently on 16.1, but in the near future, this will obviously change because V17 is coming out and that's going to be called Krypton. So all we want to do is go for the downloads. Before we do that, actually, I just want to show you that there are so many Many different add-ons so you can get weather add-ons skins games programs pictures videos audios there's so many different things so if I go in here you can see that there are a lot of free add-ons even on their web page so the first thing we're going to want to do is obviously go to the downloads tab and we're going to be downloading the Windows installation as we're on Windows if you're on Linux and Mac OS X you can download the installation I'm pretty sure it'd be very similar indeed so we're going to click that and hit OK. We're going to save it to our desktop and wait. OK, Kodi has now been downloaded. I'm going to open this and the setup is pretty straightforward, but I thought I'd mention it in this video and show you guys step by step. So we're going to agree. We're going to leave everything ticked here. I do recommend using the full installation if you want to use minimal, normal or custom. That's entirely up to you, but I'm going to leave it as default. We're going to install it to the default location, which is under C program files 86 you can choose wherever you want and Kodi install yada 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 and we're going to let this install and I'll come back to you guys once it's fully installed. So whilst this is installing I thought I'd just quickly say thank you for 3000 subscribers. I really do appreciate all the support that you guys are bringing me to this channel. It makes my videos 10 times better with all of that positive feedback down there so keep it up guys. I appreciate it and uh, yeah just keep hitting that like button it helps me out a lot and if you want to see any future tutorials that you may need or want or a friend has mentioned then be sure to comment below and I'll try and get that video up as soon as possible. Okay guys so as you can see we have completed the setup wizard I'm going to check this box to say run Kodi because obviously we want to open it now as you can see it opens pretty quickly now obviously I'm on a, a desktop PC but if you're on other devices it may lag for the first time because it's installing all the add-ons as you can see there in the bottom right hand corner but yeah hopefully you can see this guys so this is a full screen application it's very very nice indeed it's really nice built it's very user friendly and at the moment it looks very basic so as you can see here we have music programs system pictures and videos so obviously this requires requires add-ons and stuff like that. So again, I'm going to be showing you how to use a all-in-one installer that will make your life a lot easier. And obviously, if you want to install some other custom add-ons that you know about, then you can obviously go ahead and do that after this all-in-one installer. So what we want to do is hover over system and then we want to go into file manager. 
In here, are we going to add a source? So click add source or double click add source, I should say, and double click on this box here and it will bring up the keyboard. And in here, we're going to type in the website name for the all-in-one installer. So it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash ARES wizard. I'm not sure how you pronounce that dot co UK with a forward slash at the end. So ARES wizard again, not sure how you pronounce that. It's in the description below. You can copy and paste it if you don't know how to spell it or type it or read. Click done and we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it dot ARES because if you put the dot before it, it will go to the top of all of the directories. So clever little tip there. Hit done and we're going to hit OK. OK, guys, so once we've done that, go back to the home screen, hit system and go to add ons. This is the first run. So we'll see little tips and stuff. You can just hit OK. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then what we want to do is install from a zip file. So click on install from zip file choose dot arrows or whatever you called it and then we're going to click on this and this will take a little while so it looks like it's doing nothing but actually in the background it's running all of that setup wizard or whatever it's doing and downloading everything it needs to install so we'll see you in a moment that in the bottom right hand corner of the screen it will say add-on enabled or whatever add-on you're installing as you can see there aris wizard add-on enabled so you know that it's now enabled and we've installed that so if you click on my add-ons and click on all, you'll see Aris Wizard enabled. So if you click this and then click on update, just to make sure that there's no updates available, there shouldn't be on first launch, but just to double check and make sure you have auto update enabled as well. This will basically just keep this add-on up to date for more you know updates that they bring out so if we click open here you can see there's a change log and all of the updates and stuff like that we could just hit x on that and it's going to check for updates once again and this bit might take a little while as well all you've got to do is be patient with this guys because you have just installed a huge pack of add-ons so if we click browse builds and from here click pulse and we want pulse ccm now this is the bad boy of all of these add-ons what we want to do is not fresh start but we actually want to click install on this and this will go ahead and download the 227 megabyte pack full of add-ons pictures and basically all of that good stuff so this is very handy indeed this is where all of the magic happens if you like so wait for this to happen obviously be patient if your download speed is not that great then don't worry just leave it running and I'll get back to you as soon as it's installed so as you can see here this is the second part of the installation and it's going for about 14,000 different plugins and add-ons and stuff like that so again packs with a lot of stuff indeed so i do highly recommend Ares wizard if you have a different option and you want to install a different build and it suits your needs then go ahead that's completely fine but i'm just showing you that i'm showing you this one because i think it suits everyone needs and has basically a variety of different things such as live television sports tv shows and movies like i said earlier in the video okay so it's just finished installing and now it says working it says do you want to back up the skin profile you can do this if you want to i'm just going to click no because i'm not too bothered about that so cody needs to be closed press ok to attempt to close so what this will do is it will close but it doesn't actually open afterwards so what i'm going to do is go ahead and press start and just type in cody and reopen the application now you can see we have pulse on the home screen and everything's going to be a lot different so it looks very very clean indeed we have some nice wallpapers here for you we can actually use our scroll button we can actually use our scroll wheel on our mouse to scroll through these different things it does look laggy because it's updating all the add-ons right now so if you just want to leave it once it's updated all of the add-ons then i recommend using it because otherwise it would just be really unusable so i believe all of the add-ons have now been enabled as you can see there is a nice slideshow for each category we have workout kids live streams live tv music programs system phoenix is basically different add-ons they recommend movies tv shows and sports so there is a lot here guys this is a really cool installer indeed so if i go ahead and go to programs you can actually delete the cache and delete packages from here as well so if it does get a little bit laggy then just go ahead and delete the cache it's basically like deleting cache on any device and it will just smooth things out and you know just it will be a lot smooth guys so i do recommend doing that if it does get a little bit laggy depending on what device you're running on so as you can see it's very nicely laid out and i do recommend using exodus tv for tv shows and stuff like that now unfortunately i can't show you a lot because obviously I'll get done for copyright but if you just click on Exodus TV you'll see here that it has a bunch of different ways to find TV shows you have genres certificates networks people watching popular airing today there is a lot here guys if you want to search you can do that if you want to search for a famous actor that's in something that you can't remember the name of you can also do a people search so there's a lot of different ways of managing this it's very user-friendly indeed and I'm just gonna click on most popular and 
and just to give you a general idea on how it works and as you can see here when we hover over each an individual TV show we have a nice thumbnail and a nice wallpaper in the background so I like that a lot very nice indeed so if I just click on a random TV show here so let's check out the flash and you can see that it has its seasons we're gonna click on season two for example and I'm just gonna pick one at complete random here we go potential energy and what it will do is it will grab all of the different streams and nicely order it so that it goes from highest quality to worst quality from top to bottom so it's in chronological order which is obviously nice to know so it's loaded all the streams and as you can see here we have HD SD and we have a 1080p stream here as well so I'm just gonna quickly open it there you go guys I'm gonna pause it because I will get done for copyright but you also have the description of the episode we have you know got the general buttons play pause stop next uh, skip forward you know we've got subtitles so you can actually download uh, subtitles as well so if you do want subtitles and maybe you want to translate in a different language you can do that another really cool thing is if you click this button here you can actually de-interlace the video just make it you know to your choice if you're running this on a television you could just make it a lot better for maybe some brightness contrast control or overscaling and stuff like that but another cool thing is if you actually click the audio if the audio is out of sync which most likely it won't be because most of the streams are very good then you can actually delay the audio to get it back in sync if that makes sense so that's really cool indeed you can mess around with these settings it's pretty self-explanatory yeah that's it guys so if you press escape you can see that it's still in the background and if you press space it actually runs in the background there so it's really cool in that way and you can go back to full screen by clicking the full screen button there you can favorite different tv shows with this little star down here this will basically just favorite everything that you favorited it's pretty self-explanatory and the power button if you press power off system this will actually shut down your computer i had done this by accident yesterday don't do this if you don't want to shut down if you just want to exit it and obviously click exit if you want to reboot cody that will reboot cody not your computer you can adjust the skin setting if you don't like it you know change the colors there is so many settings in here i won't have time to go through because the video will just be so long but that is pretty much it guys i hope i've helped you in a way comment rate subscribe and all good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace